I was chosen to represent Coast Women in the International Women's Year General Assembly and gave me a turning point to see my widowhood in a different perspective that a woman also could make things happen. When I came back, I got a loan from ICDC to build up my house. And as the women saw it, and as they came, they were encouraged. Because traditionally, even in a back home, a woman cannot build a house. I had my mentor, my general secretary, who helped me gave me advices how I could go about building the house, not using the contractor, but supervising it myself, not knowing that it was preparing me for mayoral seat, and it did. So when the house was opened, I remember that DC himself came and re they recognized that a woman can build, and it turned the perspective of men's thinking for boy. When it came the time of becoming a mayor, I was a friend, the best friend of women, and they danced for joy whenever I said anything. Even men started believing me in me now. Women in politics have got to work double hard, if not triple hard. One, they have to convince the men around them. They have also to convince women not to listen to men because men sit and make syndicate to downfall a woman. And then women themselves to stop being enemies of each other. You convince men yourself that you can do it. And I convinced them that I could be the mayor. With the education today, the women, including myself, started working and not staying at home, fending for the family. But there is a need for them to balance the two. If you don't have a woman in any council, then women's agenda is not there. Unless this woman talks about it all the time. I remember I used to tell them, I'm the mayor for men and women, but I'm still a woman. So I had to push the agenda for women. I think women are born with a very definite power, the underground power. If those women would know how to deal with men, as I used to tell them all over, we are known as the neck. But this neck is very interesting because it changes the head in a direction. I like the Kenyans, ladies, to have the way forward with the implementation of the new constitution that caters for women and cares for women. I would request all those who can be involved, let them come forward and do it and put it right at the right time not leave it to go wrong, to come and criticize. This one has come for us to go together, implement together, and make sure things are taken rightly, step by step. That's my ending.